We're going to look at the, the next piece of equipment in your car wash, and this is your curtain, your midter curtain. Now, what we want to look at on the midter curtain, you have tie bars here and here, and also on the basket which holds your cloth, we have tie bars on the outbound sides. You want to look at those tie bars and make sure that the bolts are secure. Now you'll be able to tell if that bolt is backing out or if the bushing is in poor repair because it swings the entire thing back and forth. But a good visual inspection of this area is, is critical. Now also up above you'll see we have a half split collar where it, it goes into a, uh, a, a bushing which the entire rack swivels on. We want to take a look at each one of those half collars and make sure that they're, they're tight up against the bushing. If you notice that there's a space between the bushing and the half collar, you're going to stop what, you, what you're doing and you're going to end up calling for a service call. Continuing with your midter curtain, on the driver's side and the passenger side, we have nozzles that will be spraying the soap and water mixture onto the cloth media. We have, we have water connections up top. So these items, right now it's a good time to give them a visual inspection. You know, look and see if you have any loose hoses, any loose connections, if your, if your nozzles are, are loose or in poor repair. And again, we're going to be turning the system on at the end of our inspection and actually inspecting and making sure we have proper water flow. On the other side of the basket, we have our other connecting bar and our other split collar and, and urethane style bushing. Okay? So again, we're going to want to look at the split collars in this area, our tie bar and our bushings to make sure they're in good repair, things are good and tight, cotter pins are installed, and bolts and fasteners are good and tight. Okay, now we're at the exit side of our midter curtain. What we want to look at, again, we're looking at that first zone. Stuff that's high up in the air, the stuff that gets, gets overlooked a lot. Some, we've got some crucial, critical components that are always up high. Now, for instance, if you look right up here, you'll see the main electrical connection going to the motor, which is up top. You'll also see a little stub that's sticking out. That is your, your oil drain, and there's an oil sight gauge for your motor gearbox up there. Now, why do I bring that up? Well, you, you may or may not be the person who gets on top of the machine and actually checks the oil. But it's good and it's, it's a critical thing to know that that gearbox does exist in that area. So when we're looking in this area right up here, I want to look and see if there is any oil that's dripping down from the top of this curtain. It, that could indicate a, a serious problem with the motor or gearbox combination, or something as simple as like a loose cap that's up there that's allowing, water, allowing oil from your gearbox to drain out. Now, what's that going to do? We're losing oil from a gearbox. It's going to do a couple things. The gearbox life expectancy is going to drop down, and the oil itself is going to get all over your cloth media, which is going to be transferred onto your cars. So, again, a good, quick visual inspection of that zone one up here, where, where the motor and gearbox is, looking for some oil, is a good thing to do. Now we're going to move to zone two, the cloth, okay? You just want to make sure that your cloth is in good repair. Go ahead and when I say you inspect something, put your hands on it. Make sure that your cloth is not loose in any way, shape, or form. Make sure it's not ripped or torn. Now if, if you notice that your cloth is in bad repair or it needs to be cleaned, then you may have to get a hold of your service provider and have somebody come out and take a look at it. So your zone two, just go through and make sure that all of your cloth is secure and all your cloth is clean, okay? All right, now here we are, we're gonna go into zone three, the lower portions of your curtain, 
okay, and the, the, the guide rail in this area. I mean, because we're working from the entrance to the exit, we might as well check all of this stuff. And you can come over to your curtain and come to the base plate. I mean, you can give it a good visual inspection, but this, this is a moving piece of machinery. It goes back and forth, back and forth, and like with anything, you're going to eventually want to put a wrench on there and see if you can get maybe a half a turn out of it and tighten it up a little bit more. So let's check it. You can grab a crescent wrench or a box end wrench if you want, but just put it on the bolts that hold the lags down to the floor. Give them a quick inspection. Make sure your, your, your components are good and tight and lagged securely to the floor.